Hey everyone, it's uh, Stephen Wagner with the Tech Journal at www.stephenwagner.com. Today I am here to review the Ymaxit portable 13-inch display. I'm actually in beautiful Jasper, Alberta, Canada today, um, doing a little work away from home, and uh, I wanted to do a quick mobile review on one of my favorite new products. Now, as you can see, I've got the Ymaxit 13-inch portable LCD IPS display, and it's sitting next to my 2013 Lenovo X1 Carbon laptop. Now, this display I originally purchased because I've been doing a lot of traveling for the last couple months, and uh, you know, as most of you know, it's really handy to have a second display when traveling. Um, or sorry, not when traveling, but when working in an office. Now, one of the luxuries that we don't get when traveling is having that second display until you get this bad boy. Now, I purchased, uh, I ended up having to purchase two of these off of Amazon. Um, the one downside is that they ship these units uh, in a plastic bag. So unfortunately, the first unit that I purchased uh, was impaled, I'm assuming by some type of metal rod. Uh, the unit was defective. Now the second unit that I purchased once returning the first one, the box was crushed because it was shipped in a bag. However, all everything internally was uh, intact and everything worked. Now onto the review, you can see that uh, uh, the reason why I purchased this was because it actually, it, it's the same size or close to the same size as my Lenovo X1 Carbon. So it's really easy to travel. In most laptop bags, you can just put them side by side. Even in the laptop sleeve that I carry around with me, I could put it inside of the sleeve. However, I don't just because of the weight. Um, uh, I usually just put it inside of my luggage. Now, with that being said, putting it in your luggage, there is no battery in this unit. So it does have to be powered off of a USB port. Now, you'll notice on the side here that there's uh, four ports. One is a mini HDMI, you've got a USB 3 Type-C, you've got another Type-C connector, but it only does USB 2, uh, and then finally there's a, an old school mini or micro USB 2 port, which is used for OTG connections. Now, you'll notice that in my current configuration, I've got two cables that are being used. Um, the first is the HDMI to get the video signal from the laptop to the unit, and then I've also got the USB connector uh, connected up for power and for touchscreen. Yes, this thing does have touchscreen and it works extremely well. Now, I have an older 2013 uh, generation Lenovo X1 Carbon, so I do have to use both ports. However, if you have a newer laptop that can do DisplayPort over USB Type-C, you actually only require one cable, which makes this even more of a smooth setup when you're traveling and on the go. The screen itself has a smart cover, which is all magnetic, and you can essentially configure this and move it around and customize the slant that you want it on. And uh, I'll just show you here. It is completely customizable as to how you want to have this set up. Now, with that being said, this is also magnetic where it connects to the LCD display. So you can actually fully remove the cover, which is a really nice treat. And there's actually Visa mounts on the back of it. So you could even mount it on a mount if you wanted to, if you were back at home. Uh, as far as my review goes, I absolutely love this thing. The amount of productivity that I've been able to get done while traveling is just unbelievable. If I knew that I could have done this in the past, I would have made this purchase a very, very long time ago. And as you can see, it is so sleek and simple and easy to travel with. Especially if you're right-handed, you've got your laptop on the left side, you've got your mouse on the right side, it's perfect. And especially if you do have a device that can do um, display port over USB, uh, it gets even better because you only need the one cable. And if you were to put the display on the other side, you could even get away with like, I don't know, a 12 inch cable or something like that. So my ultimate recommendation, this is definitely a buy. I think I paid about uh, 280 Canadian for this, which is about 240 US dollars. Um, if this thing were to get damaged today or get dropped uh, in a heartbeat, I would replace it immediately. I cannot tell you how nice this thing is to have. Um, even this review, I just decided to do it randomly out of the blue while on the road, again in uh, Jasper, at the Fairmont property in Jasper, Alberta. Um, it's just freaking amazing. Anyways, if you have any questions, leave them in the description. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, hope everyone enjoyed the review.